So I know everything in this world's not about Pitt and Penn State. I realize that. I know there's a world outside of Pennsylvania football, but let's be honest. What do we talk about most of the time? We talk about Pitt and we talk about Penn State. And these two fan bases, even if they deny it, or at least one of them denies it, they care a whole lot about each other. And these programs are connected for a lot of reasons. We know this. And one of those is that they target a lot of the same recruits. And really, in 15 years without any games, recruiting has been one of the places these two teams and two programs actually compete. They actually meet and, you know, see who wins. And the truth is, you you probably know this if you follow recruiting, over the last 15 years, Penn State has won a whole lot more than it lost. You look at last year's recruiting class, 18 of Penn State's commitments had an offer from Pitt. One of Pitt's commitments had an offer from Penn State. That was Jordan Whitehead. So even though they didn't go head-to-head for every one of those recruits, if you looked and compared the offers to who won each of those recruiting battles, it favored Penn State. Oh, and Penn State's 18 commits who had a uh, Pitt offer. That included two guys that Penn State flipped from Pitt commitments uh, right before signing day. So yeah, that one goes to Penn State. But maybe, just maybe, the tide is turning in this little battle here. Because this week, Penn State tried to go after a couple kids who are committed to Pitt. Kids who have been committed to Pitt for quite some time. And those Pitt commits said no. Basically, it was the opposite of what happened last year where Penn State said Hey, kids that are committed to Pitt, why don't you come up to State College? They tried it again, and this time the Pitt commits said no. Now, every recruit makes decisions for his own reasons, and you know, recruiting against Penn State isn't the end all be all. You have to be a lot of schools when you're recruiting against different, uh, you know, or recruiting for uh, some of the kids that Pitt's going after. But the contrast between last year and this year is telling. And maybe, maybe it's just one more piece of evidence that the tide really is turning at Pitt.